Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for story time today. I'm Miss Holly and we are going to be reading books all about hibernation this week. As you guys have probably noticed, it's gotten a little bit colder outside this week and hibernation is something that animals do, not all animals, but some animals do in the winter. They'll eat a lot preparing for hibernation and their bodies will slow down and then they will fall asleep until from winter all the way up to the spring months. Can you guys think of any animals that hibernate? Bears, yeah, bears are definitely one. Oh, Prince Naveen says frogs hibernate. Yeah, can you think of any other ones? Right, also chipmunks and beavers hibernate. So, um, we are going to be reading a book all about that today. And as we read, be listening to see if there's any other animals that hibernate during the winter. We are reading a book called Sleep Back Black Bear Sleep. And um, it's by Harper Collins Publishing. Sleep, little one, sleep. Your dreams are long and deep. Sleep in your burrow, cave, or den. Sleep till the winter's done, and then rise up and start all over again. Sleep, little one, sleep. Got a little snowy village. Someone's sleeping in their bed. Sleep, black bear, sleep. The hills are bare and steep. You hibernate through winter snow. Your heart beats steady, strong and slow. You wait till spring to rise and go. Sleep, back, black bear, sleep. He's got a cozy setup. A nice warm blanket. Looks like he's got a yummy sandwich. Dream, little frog, dream. At the bottom of your stream. A skim of ice above you high is like a gray winter sky. Don't wait till spring, don't even try. Dream, little frog, dream. Ooh, what do we have? We also have some bats. Hang, little bat, hang with your entire gang. Tuck your legs and tail in tight for winter's dark extended night until the spring breaks warm and light. Hang, little bat, hang. Oh, the bats look all cozy hanging. They've got on hats. They are sleeping through the winter. Nap, little snakes, nap. Heads and tails overlap. One big tangle keeps you warm through nature's cold and winter storm. Your breathing takes a slower form. Nap, little snakes, nap. All the snakes are all gathered up together to keep each other warm. That's so interesting. Ooh, what do we have here? A turtle. Snooze box turtle snooze within the spot you choose. Safe from wind and frozen rain that beats above a soft refrain till sunlight warms the thawed terrain. Snooze little, snooze box turtle, snooze. What do we have? A gopher. He looks pretty cozy, doesn't he? Rest, go for rest. For you, the burrow's best. So find a chamber that will fit and settle down inside of it. And food, just snack a little bit. Rest, go for rest. What has he got there for a snack? It looks like he's got a carrot and a radish. Go for snoozing during the winter too. And then who do we have here? Looks like a little skunk. Snore, little skunk, snore. Turn over, snore some more. The winter winds may howl and wail. Your den is closed with snow and hail. But you know spring will never fail. Snore, little skunk, snore. A 
say spring will never fail. So we're just gonna snooze till spring. And it looks like here we have a badger. Nod, badger, nod, within your house of sod. Inside you sit, you settle down, surrounded by familiar ground. A welcome house in earthy brown. Nod, badger, nod. I like it. It's got a fireplace. That's nice. Well, what do we have? Right, a beaver. Doze, beaver, doze. Just let your eyelids close. When water freezes up your dam, too icy for a good tail slam. Into your lodge, you quickly scram. Doze, beaver, doze. Who else is snoozing? A little mouse. Hush, little mouse, hush. This is the final rush. Do not delay, no time to stall. Curl up into a little ball as winter creeps and snowstorms fall. Hush, little mouse, hush. I like that cheese blanket the mouse has. That's pretty cool. And look, he's got a picture of the first mouse on the moon. Maybe it was a mouse or not. Let's see, we have a toad. Low, little toad, low. Take heed of the winter's call. Dig down deep within the ooze, and as soon as you hear winter's news, there prepare a long, cold snooze. Low, little toad, low. I like his setup, too. He's snoozing in a library. I love snoozing, surrounded by all kinds of good books to read. And then... Looks like we have a chipmunk. Yawn, chipmunk, yawn, as you cross the lawn. Duck under rocks and under weeds to where your winding tunnel leads. And there among your hidden seeds. Yawn, chipmunk, yawn. Oh, he's snoozing. Look at all the tunnels that he has all over the place. That's really cool. But he has his running shoes, I guess, so when it turns spring, he can just be out dashing along the way. And even you, it's time for sleep. So snuggle down and burrow deep. The sheet and quilt will keep you warm through winter or through summer storm till you awaken in the morn. Sleep, my little child, sleep. And look, she's sleeping. She's got all the animals that hibernate. She's got a badger and a frog and a chipmunk, a beaver, a skunk, a bear toad, a bat, a turtle, a gopher. Oh, that's the skunk's tail. Oh, and a snake. Everyone hibernating for winter. The end. That was a very cool book. And we'll be reading more this week, so be sure to join us again on Monday.